The GDM FW900 is one of the highest end PC CRTs ever made. This is an HP rebrand, but it's the same monitor. Unlike most PC CRT monitors, this one's widescreen. It supports a lot of resolutions and refresh rates. And the tube is the same as used in a 24 inch BVM monitor. Besides PC stuff, any 480p VGA source looks great on it too. It's super sharp, and with some calibration I've got the convergence to be pretty good across the whole monitor. There's one problem though, and it's that it has a big scratch in the front. First, we have to disassemble the monitor. The top screws are covered so they can block out kids and fools. There are two on the bottom. I forgot to record it. Now we want to pry around the top and sides to remove the claws so the bezel can become full. And then the back just slides off. Now we have these side screws holding the bezel in place. Clever Sony thought they could hide these ones down here, but we got those too. There are four big screws in the corner of the bezel. They look structural, but in fact they just hold the bezel to the tube frame. Using a screwdriver to just, um, uh, shit. Using a drill, just, um, what the fuck? Alright, jeez. Here's the secret. The screen is an anti-glare cover, and probably that got scratched, not the tube. Before we take it off, there's some knifing to do. Gotta cut this foil tape on top. Cut firm, but not too deep, the way you would during a breakup. Same deal on the bottom. Cut through the police tape to show who's really in charge. Now, the catharsis begins. Begin to peel at the corner. It'll be pretty easy to do with just your hand. I didn't have to use a knife here, but different monitors that are different age may have different adhesives. Halfway through is the moment of truth. Is the scratch on the glass or the cover? Looking good. Throw away your crumpled dreams, because a new life begins now. That scarring event left some shit behind that seems hard to move on from, but, but like any struggle, hard work helps you move past it. Here, I used melamine foam. After reassembly, it goes right back on my desk.